Joel Perry with Endwell Architecture and Design, and I'm here today to talk to you about house styles in Kansas City. Today we're going to talk about the craftsman style. I'm going to hit on a couple of things just really quickly today. We'll talk about the basic characteristics of the style, where it originated, how it's evolved over time, and why it might be a good fit for you personally. So craftsmen's are very simple in their form. They're typically rectangular in plan, usually a story, a story and a half. They usually have very low-pitched gabled roofs. The gable is that little triangle at the end there. Uh, there's generally exposed rafter tails, which rafters are the, the elements, the structural elements that hold up the roof, and a lot of times they'll just peek out there at the end. Uh, they generally have a very strong connection to the site, the landscape around them, and they're usually constructed of rustic materials, stone, wood, metal, uh, that sort of thing. Let's talk a little bit about how craftsman uh, style originated. It's a little bit unique in that most of the styles we're going to look at originated out of vernacular. And what I mean by that is they came from a, a local place and a local material and a local tradition. Craftsman's a little bit different. It actually came from a philosophical root. And we won't really go into uh, all of the uh, philosophy behind it, but the gist of it was it was in response to the Industrial Revolution. and as as technology allowed construction to become more mechanical and um, less human, there was a response that wanted to bring that human element, that crafted element, back into construction. And uh, so one of the things that they did is they really reached out to uh, artists and designers and craftsmen and really allowed them to, uh, to speak into this style a little bit. And what you got has a very human feel, a very human scale. Uh, everything is sort of uh, imperfect. It's meant not to feel machined. It's meant to feel natural. Uh, craftsman style has not evolved greatly over time, and I attribute that mostly uh, to the fact that it is largely a philosophical style. Um, and that philosophy hasn't really changed. It still connects with people today in the same way that it did uh, 100 years ago, maybe more so. Um, one of the things that has changed is kind of how they're, they're designed on the inside, how the plans are working. Obviously a kitchen in 1935 is different than a kitchen today. We want that to be open and connected with the rest of the spaces. We want generally broader, more open spaces. Bedrooms need larger closets. We have more bathrooms, uh, that sort of thing. But as a general rule, the overall style and the feel of the Craftsman House is very similar to how it was in the 1930s. So why you might consider Craftsman style as a, a style for you personally? Craftsman is a very sort of human style. If you find yourself um, adversely responding to technology and to the busyness of life, Craftsman is really a philosophical response to that. It has an element to it that is is very natural and very human and very imperfect and a lot of people find that charming. It's very cottagey, it's low scale, so they're not huge uh, houses. They feel very cozy, comfortable, and unpretentious. So if that appeals to you, you might consider the craftsman style.